All right, guys. So in this quick video that I'm going to be making for you, is, um, I'm going to show you guys where to go and download the VX manager, uh, because if you, let's just say you go on Amazon and you order the, um, the VX nano, uh, for the J2534, uh, programming, um, the software that comes with it isn't the most recent and up to date. Um, well, anyway, when I ordered it, it wasn't. So I thought I'd just make this quick video to show you guys exactly where to go. And that way you guys can take and, uh, get the, the right, uh, version of this, uh, VX manager, uh, right out of the box. So what you're going to do is that you're going to go into Google, you're going to put in a VX manager download. All right. Um, this, then you can go up to the VX, uh, diag shop. Okay. Now in here is where that you will find the, the newest and up to date version of the VX manager. Okay. Now this is on a, um, a platform called mega. So when you click on the, the platform, uh, the link is going to bring you to this platform and you're going to see it right here. Take and click the download button and that way it'll start to download now your computer might say it's a virus and that it's not safe but it's completely safe to download i've downloaded it i've scanned it with virus uh, software and everything and there's nothing wrong with the software whatsoever so just keep that in mind so now after everything's downloaded i already downloaded my version we're going to go into that right away um i don't have it installed on the computer so we're going to install it at the same time uh so what we you do then is that you just take and you exit all this because we have no more use for it. You go into your download section. We'll take and we'll open the file. And as you can see here, Windows protected your PC. If when you see this message, what you want to do is click on the more info and then you go run anyway. And that way it'll take and it will uh, run the program. We're going to click on yes. We're going to click on next. And here you have a list. Now, if you don't want to use the, uh, the OEM software that the, came with your tool, whichever one that you bought, either Toyota, Honda, Subaru, Volvo, Ford, whichever one, uh, just click on the pass through. Okay. Click on the next button. Let it load up. It's, it's pretty quick. Um, now it's installing the VCI SDK. And as you can see right here, we already have the programs up over here. We'll let this finish loading and now it's going to ask you to visit the website you don't have to so what i do is i always click off the visit website because i don't need to visit the website when well, just click uh, run vx manager click yes and as you can see the program shows up so after you have the program open and it's uh on this screen the next thing that you're going to do is that you're going to click on diagnostic you're going to click on automotive and you're going to click through the pass through device. All right. So I ended up uh, forgetting my uh, VX nano at work in my uh, laptop bag along with my laptop. So today is the next day. Uh, we're going to load up the software real quick. After it's all loaded up, I'm going to take, I'm going to plug in the, uh, the VX nano. go it is now plugged in now after it's plugged in we're just going to click on the reconnect and as you can see here now it is loaded up now um, the first thing that you want to do is going to come through your license uh, as you can see right here this one is uh, already loaded up with the licenses but you're going to come down to your licenses uh, diagnostic we're going to click on pass through and we're going to click on the install. If the install button is in gray, uh, it is already installed. So you don't have to do anything at this point. And then we're going to click close. Now, after it's installed, what you're going to do is go back over to your device. You're going to click on information. Uh, you're going to click on update license. Make sure that your licenses are up to date. Device uh, license has been updated. That's perfect. 
And then after that, when we go through, we can see that all our, our licenses are perfect. So I got the Ford, the Mazda, and the pass-through on this one. But like I said, I'm just using the, uh, the pass-through. I'm not using the Ford IDS. So after all that's done, now, if you have the pass-through and you got your device all set up, the next thing you're going to want to do is click on this uh, J2534 app. And what this does is that it actually gives you all the websites so you can go and download uh, the software in order to do your J2534 programming. Now, on top of that, there is a uh, VX Diag Shop. I'll go there. So, um, VXDiagShop.com. Um, if you come here, what you can actually do is go to their download section and they'll let you take and download specific files for the drivers okay and if you ever need extra licenses for other vehicles you don't have to buy the uh the program itself um this one is the license for the volkswagen this one's for land rover uh this one's for gm so as you can see you can go down the list and you can buy them separately okay um after that when we go to the home we can actually see their full set of uh, VCX uh, that they have. You can buy the Nano versions or you can buy the VCX Pro Series. So uh, I'm not trying to plug this company. It's just that I came to this site and they have everything that you need in order to use their the tools that they sell. So it's a really like a one-stop shop. But uh, yeah, so let's exit that. Let's go back to the device. Uh, diagnostic click on the pass through and if there is an update you will see over here that there's an update and you can just click on the update but this mine is fully updated so there's no need for me to update it uh automotive like i said you can get the honda hds the toyota uh techstream the land rover subaru uh volvo ford and so on so uh they also have hino in here and i don't know what this uh rp1210 is but at least they have Hino, so if you need to do some uh, work on Hino, well, they have Hino. So that's going to conclude the video for uh, downloading the VX Manager, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So as always, I'll see you guys next time.